Welcome to the show. I'm surprised he's looking at emails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I got a great team in place, right? So yeah. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for having me here. Excited to be here with you. And, and not only is it my business email, but you're also coming in on my personal email as well. So your team uh, research omnipresent. Well, apparently. <laughs> I told my marketing te my marketing team yesterday. I was I say I want to be omnipresent. I want everywhere everybody looks, <laughs> they see us. And uh, now it's it's uh, well. Thanks for not unsubscribing. So I appreciate that. <laughs> <first of all. laughs> <laughs> and we actually try not to send too many emails, but we do about two a week. And, uh, and we try to add some value and at the same time uh, let people know we're buying, we're selling, we're joint venturing, uh, we're raising money, we're, we're doing all these different kinds of things. We do some coaching and stuff too, obviously. So um, yeah, you know, I think just... Uh, I think it's important for people to know that there's better returns, as you guys know, in, in real estate backed by hard assets, tangible, you know, you got, uh, especially if it's an equity investment, it's, uh, you know, just depreciation and all sorts of other stuff that can benefit them that they, they can't get in, sure. you know, the stock market and other, other traditional right. types of Tell us a little so. bit about what you do and how you got started in this business, kind of just a precursor to our incredible conversation that's about to happen. Yeah. I mean, high level is I, um, I was going through, college 03 to 07. So the market was going crazy. Everybody's making money in real estate. And that was what motivated me back then. So um, I graduated from college in 07, moved out to New York City. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Originally, I live in Charleston, South Carolina, not far from you guys now. Neighbors. And uh, uh, yeah, and, and I got it. I thought you got involved in real estate by becoming a real estate agent. So I got my real estate license. I started brokering uh, actually commercial retail leases and, and office leases and just saw how much money there was on the on the investment side versus on the ownership side versus the, uh, the brokering side. So I ended up uh, saying I want to become an investor and I moved down to Charleston, South Carolina, just wanted some better weather and um, uh, you know, got all excited and, and was ready to invest and the market collapsed like in late 2008. And uh, I was like, ah, where's everybody going run from real <laughs> estate. And I was like, I just showed up. And so uh, yeah, I just, you know, I, 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 uh, it was kind of fortunate because market, you know, the prices had dropped. Everything was bottom of the, uh, very different than today. Like uh, uh, essentially opposite, right? Like there's a lot of capital out there, but there's, there's not a lot of low hanging fruit type of deals. Right. And back 10, 12 years ago, um, there were deals everywhere, right? You couldn't oh, walk yeah. down the street without walking past three, four closed houses, bank owned homes, selling for pennies on the dollar, but money was nowhere. And I right. learned very quickly and, and after seeing multiple market cycles over the past 12 plus years that I've been investing, um, you got to be always sourcing capital and always sourcing mm -hmm. deals all the time. And so that's, well you know, we're focusing on those revenue generating activities. And um, when, when I had that awareness, I got started meeting people with money, started pairing that up with deals and getting involved somehow. I'd, sometimes I'd lend or I'd borrow money as, as more of a debt loan and then other times as like an equity joint venture type partnership and built up a portfolio. Uh, you know, there's a lot of highs and lows and stuff. I can go into the story if you want to, but um, essentially fast forward to today, uh, I have a portfolio of, I, I was up to 4,800 doors. I just sold off about 800 of like the smaller properties and some more like wow. the C-class type properties. So I'm at about 4,000 doors right now, but I've transacted many thousands more than that. But my portfolio is a little over $400 million as I sit here today with you. Wow, that's amazing. Now, is the majority of that portfolio in uh, the multifamily uh, arena? Yep, 90% of it's multifamily. I got about 10% of miscellaneous, some office, like small micro office type stuff. Yeah. I have some storage facilities. I have some vacation rentals and kind of like unique short-term rental type stuff. Um, but yeah, 90% of it's multifamily. And, and okay. usually in secondary tertiary type markets, I don't do anything luxury and I don't do anything that's in war zones. So I stick to that kind of B class, blue collar, workforce housing, rent Affordable average. Affordable housing. Rent. What's that? Aff Affordable yeah. Affordable housing. Affor affordable, right? Not not low end, not like low income housing, but affordable right. housing for right. the workforce. You know, probably rents that range from low end six hundred up to about fifteen hundred dollars a month. So we probably average eight hundred to a thousand dollars a month in rent. So right in the middle of the road. I think it's very insulated. Uh, when the market's good, everybody can afford that. When the market shifts, a lot of those luxury renters move into more of a workforce. Exactly. So it stays pretty occupied. 